Hi, Nick from the Stephen Talkhouse here. Welcome to our third edition of Talkhouse Live. You can catch us on Facebook and YouTube. Tonight we've got the Nancy Alice Project. Hope you enjoy the show. here tonight. My name is Nancy Atlas. We got Johnny Bled on lead guitar. We got Richard Rosh on drums, Brett King on bass, and Joe D'Elia is in for Neil Surreal. We are the Nancy Atlas Project, born and raised here at the Stephen Talk House, and so completely honored to be a part of keeping the spirit and the live music on the East End going. So thank you for tuning in. I hope you stick around, and a big, big shout out to Nick Krause and Peter and Max for making this happen, okay? And Mike Maz and Matt Hindra, we're gonna get through it. Let's get rolling, boys.
gentlemen, you missed him, but here he is, Zorro! We have an applause button. So when I hit the applause, Mikey, Mikey Maz, are we ready for the applause button? Here we go. Yes, yes. It will simulate. We don't want anyone at home getting upset that we have a stadium of people here at the Talk House. I can assure you, it's me, Maz, um, Matt, and Phil doing shots of tequila is what's happening. All right, here's a little song. This song, uh, that last song, by the way, was going out to my good friend, Steven Nussdorf, and also uh, Tom, uh, who, uh, you know, there's a lot, a lot going on in the world right now. And also Bob and Terry from Sag Harbor. That Boots was going out to you guys as well, all right? So we love you guys, Bob. We need you on the dance floor. Rest up, my friend. Here's a little song called My Love.
Tell you what, that does not feel like Johnny Blood. That does not feel like first and third grade math. Woo! No homeschooling in this house tonight. All right, all right, all right. All right. So uh, this song is called Hustle and Beg. And it's going out to the entire Talk House crew, but specifically to Peter, Max, and Nick to Maz and Matt as we hustle our way through. Sometimes people say, man, I don't know, hustle's the wrong word. I'm like, no, man, you gotta get up off the floor and make it happen. And so that's what we're trying to do right now. We, uh, it's a rough world right now. We're trying to bring you a little happiness and love, which has always been the talk house's mantra. You ask Peter every day, he goes, I am the luckiest man in the world. I get to bring people joy. So I know I'm not overlooking the atrocities in the world tonight, but we hope that we're bringing you just a little bit of love in a world gone mad right now. This song is original, and it's called Hustle and Beg. And if you want to an answer at home, and, and the other people here, the all three, five people here, you want to an answer when I go, oh, you go, oh, I say, yeah. Say, oh, 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 yeah. yeah. It ain't no good for you, baby. It ain't no good for you, baby. It ain't no good for you, baby. Oh, hustle, hustle, hustle. All I do is hustle and pay. Hustle, 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 hustle. All I do is hustle and they ain't got but two stops on the elevator, and they don't ever see no change. In fact, the only time I get what's mine is when I start to hustle and they go, oh, 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 so I hustle. Hustle now. All I do is hustle and they said I hustle. 
to Chris and Rob. Ken. Oh, we got Ken in Aruba. He can watch us. Inda's online, right? Online. Okay, great. All right, so this next song is, uh, oh damn, I, I'm picking heavy hitters coming out. I'm swinging, I'm swinging. How's everybody doing at home, huh? Saving a lot of money on beer these days is what you're doing. All right. 
So they're going to be doing these shows, just so you know, every Thursday night. Um, and it's always at 8 o'clock at the youtube.com slash Stephen Talkhouse. You can also check out their website, the Stephen Talkhouse website. We can only pray that the Talkhouse will be doing some shows this summer as well. But until then, um, as he always has done, Peter will be, uh, and gang, will be supporting us locally. And we are taking tips uh, which help for sure for us to not be working and we are working with the talk house to make sure that everybody gets a little love so thank you for tuning in and uh, this next song is going out to two people it's primarily the first going out to Barry Bush who uh, I'm still going to pray comes out here with his beautiful wife Rebecca uh, they are incredibly best friends of mine uh, and this is his song and Mike Damaris, who always fights Barry about the fact that this is his song, uh, and says, no, it's my song. Actually, it is Barry's, but we love you, Mike, and so we're gonna dedicate it to both of you. It's a little Dolly Parton song uh, called Jolene, and it's our take on it. I'm sweating, I'm spitzing. Woo! Okay, hold on. All together? All together, let's come in all together.
There's nothing I can do to keep from crying when you call your name. And I could easily understand how you could easily take my man, but you don't know what it means to me. but he can't see with his mask on. Woo! Yeah! Woo! That earned me a sip of Heineken is what that earned me. Oh, yeah. All right, so we're going to play one more song and then we're going to take a little break. Stick around with us. We have a beautiful, beautiful show and some surprises. I'm going to call my friend Indy Eaton up. We're going to do just a little, another day for Steve and Colleen Paluva. That's what we're going to do. And let's get, come on up. You're gonna lead us into our next set. And Mr. Hendra, masked like Zorro number two back there, after this song, we're gonna have a little, are we going to Peterville? Where are we going? Are we going to Peter Hunter Campville? He doesn't hear me. Sure, yes. Hinda, how you doing my friend? All right, but you're up next, honey. So, and we, we we'll talk about that in a little bit. All right, so let's do a little just another day. All right, not too close to Joe over there. Come on. All right. All right. Oh, no, one more, one more. 
Joe DeLeo on the keys into Eden on backups. Inda and I are going to do a little acoustic stick around. We're going to take it back over to the control station. Well, the Stephen Talk House was built in 1832 by a local whaler. His name was Erastus Barnes, and he whaled out of Sag Harbor. And this is his house. It's one of the oldest structures in Amagansett. And Stephen Talk House, the Indian after whom this bar is named, used to walk along these streets in the 1870s delivering the mail right in front of this very house. And do we know why we chose this name except for the historical reference? Just uh, the... the People who had it when we bought it in 87 had named it this in 1970. Uh, and so what gave you the concept of becoming a live music venue? When we got the bar, um, that concept really didn't exist. But my cousin, Cliff Black, he was a musician. Um, the room was much smaller then. That stage was actually a driveway, so we had a little wooden platform. And Cliff played up there with a guy named, a harmonica player named Eddie Mack. I thought we should try and get someone bigger. And the musician John Hammond was, I had met, he lived out here locally at the time, and he agreed to play for $750, a $10 cover. Place was packed, and it just progressed. things that is unique to me about this bar is first the staff and not in any word of importance but you've got people that have been here for a long long time we're really a family there's a sign here that says customers come and go here at the talk house the employees always right I started here about I'd say about 30 years ago I can tell you a lot of crazy stories about Peter the first time I ever saw him this was a Halloween night back in like the 70s that he, he, dressed up, he dressed up like a, transvest, a transvestite and walked the whole length of the bar. And I was right behind him. Every time they were tipping him, the money would fall out and I was collecting them right behind there. I, I collected like about 70, 70, 80 bucks. Stephen Talkhouse started working here in 1978. Got to know Peter. Right, he's um, a brilliant student, number one and number two at Columbia, and he could have been a stockbroker, could have wrote a book, but he liked to drink and he liked to hang out with his friends, so he told me he wanted to do it for a living, so he bought this place, and here we are. Stephen, the famous Stephen Talkhouse. Um, um, Nick Kraus is developing, along with Max and Peter, a Thursday night weekly live episode right now. Hopefully we'll take it into um, more than that as, as the summer progresses, and hopefully there'll be other things going on here. But for now, um, they've got the full Monty with uh, Michael Mazzarocco and Kevin whose last name escapes me right now, but it's with an S, and he's fabulous. <laughs> and they're doing sound, and Matt Hinger with Eric, and uh, the whole gang. The whole gang is in the house right now. Um, but more importantly, my good bestie, Enda Eaton, has joined me tonight. 
And I think I would like to talk about this for a second before we go into singing, if that's all right. Yes, Nancy. Yeah. <laughs> we finally got ourselves a network TV show. We finally we did. are on Facebook Live. We made Live. it big time now. We on the network. We are on. <laughs> <laughs> we got we a, have a someone time. eating a chicken parmesan in front of us yeah. as we make music. No, We've made it to the big leagues this now. This is big time now. Mm -hmm. I'm so inspired. Um, hey, hey I, can I just say I'm glad you didn't cancel. I know you didn't want you were you were you you had feelings, and I'm so glad you just said, "Hey, let's cut to come together." And I have to tell you, I have canceled honestly that I can have a recognition in my head of probably three shows in 25 years that I can say that were like genuine paid shows and I either had, I have played, I have tripped out on stage with 103 fevers, I have been so sick I have thrown up on the side and come back out and done mm -hmm. sets, but three that I can think of and this morning I woke up and the magnitude of what's going on in the world and the atrocities and everything, just, it, I felt it like a weight. And I texted Nick and I just said, I don't think I can do it because I just don't think I can give it justice right now. I'm homeschooling two of my kids. I'm actually moving out of my house this week. I mean, it's like things are crazy on top of everything that the world is burning. And I had it all written out. And I said, I'm sorry, I know there's so much production and the band. And then I just said, Damn it, no. If I, this is not going to be the right way, then I got to make it the right way. And uh, you were the first text I said, will you come down? And I thought for sure you'd say no. And you said, I'm there. Amen. Let's do it. And so. I start crying. I thought. Well, we haven't made music in a long oh, yeah. time. It's, we haven't made, and we love to make music. And I think the interesting thing in my heart was that we are always called upon and we deliver. And there is an addiction to that. But there's also this thing that flutters in your soul when you're called upon and you say, let's do this. And that's what I felt today. I was like, no, let's do this. Let's do this live stream. Let's put a little bit of love into the world. And so thank you so, so much. I know it's masked and the virus and George Floyd, God rest his soul and everything, but I appreciate it. And uh, I appreciate you so much. So let's Aww. do a little singing, shall we? This one's going to be to Rose, I'll Come Running. Rose loves this song. And to you, too. Oh, this, this is our song, girl. You well, you wrote it. this, but I, I've worked on a second verse tonight. We have a little joke. We well. share each other's. This is actually my song, but she claims it, and I claim to have written Casper, which is a really great song of hers. But she, I actually did write her song, and she did write this one. Oh, <laughs> oh am I in the wrong key? No, we're okay. here. Right. Let's see if we get those lyrics. Everybody's got a road, bridge that they must cross upon. Everybody's got a load, sometimes too much to bear. And maybe I can feel for you, because I know just what you're going through. The fire and the brimstone, too. I know, because I've been there. Sometimes it's all too much And sometimes it ain't enough And sometimes giving up Is better than giving in And if you say my name It's always gonna be the same I'll come running Yeah Some skies are aching from the start They're the crimson red of a well-bruised heart Some skies are clear and open That's the longest Texas smile But here and there and now and then The leaves grow still and the clouds descend The rain feels like it'll never end The sun won't crack a smile Sometimes it's all too much and sometimes it ain't enough And sometimes giving up Is better than giving in But if you say my name It's always gonna be the same I'll come around Are you gonna do a little bit of a solo? Well, we'll do it with a bread knife and drill We'll see what we can do <laughs> Here we go Two Three
to keep your dream alive. But if it's a Hail Mary that you need to throw, I'll be running, baby, to the other side. Because sometimes it's all too much, and sometimes it ain't enough. And sometimes giving up is better than giving in. But if you say my name, it's always going to be the same. I come around. Sometimes it's all too much. And sometimes it ain't enough. Sometimes giving up is better than giving in. But if you say my name, it's always going to be the same. I come around. Yes, I come around. Yes, I come around. Like that is like for our, our acoustic, or if somebody tips us a hundred bucks, then we'll dedicate the, the cheers to them. Okay, go ahead. Oh hell, we brought you a mofo. I'll take ten bucks. <laughs> I'll give you a pony. You tip us a hundred dollars. All right, okay. I'll tell you what. You know, when you did call, I did cry, and I'll tell you, we don't realize that, and we we don't. We keep it pent up, and we're we're holding it together for homeschooling our kids, and we're we're holding it together for everybody, but we don't realize that as we're holding it together, it just such a thin line and and when you did call today I just I did I start crying I was like I, I didn't think that it, it it was killing me that much not to play for these months and it's not that we're not playing okay and we're doing our streaming and these things but to play together it's just it's nothing just the like connection it. yeah. it's, it really is the connection and I think um, we talked about this last week is that you know some people will say well you know I'm not in a position and I don't feel like I deserve to be sad. No, you can be sad uh, for anything right now, for the weight of the world, for, um, you know, you, you have to, it's so much to process, I think, you know, it, there is so much on so many different levels between the, the race issues and, and this virus, and uh, it's a lot. So I, I'm glad we're here tonight making a little bit of music. Do we want to play the other song that you wrote of mine? Um, Which one would that um, be? called uh, It Ain't That Way Now, oh, appropriately. You like yeah, I really love that song of mine that yeah, you wrote. That's, that's, yeah. that you wrote yeah. that's the song. Can we, can we, we cheer uh, the bottom? Oh, okay. I didn't touch the bottom. I didn't either. Okay. I need my noodle. I need my distancing noodle. You know, can we get a talk house distancing noodle, Nick? Thank you. I'd appreciate that. Can we we'll have it? And we can have Phil's face on it. And like, if somebody gets too close, you just hit him with Phil. How about that? I love this song. This song is such badass. Uh, I don't know what mood. Well, I know what mood you're in because it's it's badass song. And um, I just always I love to blare this thing. This gets me in a mood. This attitude song. I'm tune up here. Am I allowed to swear? Yeah. Are we on a on Thursday Facebook? night prime? To, do you get to swear? I have to swear. Well, I'm just gonna say I have another song that I wrote um, that gets me in a mood called "Don't Mess with Me." I'll leave it at that one for that one. But this one's a. Uh, this one didn't I remember the first time I ever did a show with you, and you just started laying it out there with your trucker language for the children. I thought, what? My God. Oh, hell yeah. You know my uh, theory on swearing, which is that as long as you're intelligent, you can swear as much as you want. Uh, but if you, you're dumb, you should not swear. You got your theories, but they were taping <laughs> it live for NPR, and you started talking with the kids with the trucker language. Anyway, this is a song that made me feel like that. All right, hold on. Give me one second here. One second. Hey, you got to do this. Maybe not next week, but after this, you got to do one of these, and I'll come down. What do you think? Come on. We'll get going, because this is the first time I've played since I had the crouton disability. So Yeah, you must cut your finger off. Oh, yeah. no good. All right. So this is good. We'll, we'll give it a few more weeks. There it is. Something was heavy. This is called It Ain't That Way Now, off of uh, my album, appropriately named in It Ain't That Way Now. I, I won't 
thoughts were so restless Each day was precious Each moment of vow I used to be full of electricity. It just came pouring out of me. You could taste it in my mouth. But you were the light, oh, that I'd run to each night. Oh, how we burn so bright. But it ain't that way now Oh, now anyone can love and anyone can try But I think I just might give up this fight I used to protect you, I used to feel proud But that's when I loved you and it ain't that way now chicken sandwich but i'm gonna tell you right now you have to admit that's a spirit song you put that in like if you're gonna go you gonna get all gussied up and rob uh-huh. a liquor store i'm gonna put on that song you know what i'm saying you're gonna get that with my name on the bandana uh, you, and i was told oh, damn you got in the bandana oh hell yeah oh damn and i was told if you're gonna rob a liquor store don't wear your own deal all right well where do we get into bandanas i want one. Oh, that's come up yeah in the, in the, the I, I gotta tell you in the rapture some of our distribution chains have been a little slow i think the main thing is uh we just want to give the love tonight, you know. We'll I'll hear it, okay. <laughs> Can um, <clears throat> I want one of those. We'll get you set up. So uh, you have a beautiful new video that came out for free, but I was wondering uh, for you, Song Free, which is 
would you explain that now? We know we know we don't have to play that song, but let's play once because that's really what I, I would like if that's okay with you. I oh, know we'll you look, you we'll hurt play, your finger. But we'll play anything, and I'll tell you what that free video. We're gonna put that on the. I know we're doing the Afti and all for the East End. Uh, yes, this, a Sag Harbor this situation. Weekend. Feeding the people this weekend. Where do people go to see that? I think they're they can watch it on LTV. I know it's it's on Saturday. And it's the Sag Harbor Music Festival. They're with that. Afti, and they're making sure that we all. Get, uh, well, Ellen, why don't you explain to us where we're screwed up? What is it? The Afti website, the East End Open Air Music Festival website, and LTV. I was close. LTV. Okay, we're good. We're so, good. again, we if you're watching it, it say, we, so we can watch it on LTV, Sag Harbor American Music Festival, and Afti. Afti. Yeah. And we're going to do a show, just the two of us here, in the next month. Don't you know we are? We are. Don't I'm just you know we just, are. We need to, we need excuses. Yeah, and you're not going to be eating no chicken sandwich at that You better one. not eat any right chicken now, fucking you know, parmesan you know, over there. <laughs> what the you hell, bro? My God. You try making, it's, you, you're a green screen. You're a walking green screen is what you are. You're, you, I feel like Will Smith right now. We finally make it I'm to trying, Big I'm Top. To <laughs> we finally make it to national TV and the crew's eating chicken sandwiches. I don't know about that. I'm yes. just only, we're only, we listen, we are rabid. You're the only person that we can mock in this entire room. <laughs> there it's, it's really you true. have no options. You, got no you just foils. run while you can. All right. All right. So will you, can you, can we do once? Let's try Sorry. that. I have to wear my hat backwards, even though it might That's not right. be a great. I, we'll okay. So this is off of your last album. Well, it is. And uh, the crouton injury is coming on, but we'll just see what's going no, on. No, but people can listen to this in Pandora. Okay. You I'm sure not playing can. on this one. They sure can. This is called Once. It's from the album Shelter in Place. And who are you dedicating this to? Because every song has to have a dedication tonight. I dedicate it to we the people. We've had a really tough week, and we had a tough week before that. And we had a couple, three bad months. And um, I just dedicate it to healing because uh, just when you think you can't take anymore, we've taken it, and people are bucking up so hard and it just, it feels good that you did not cancel the show and that we're having some music and some softness tonight. So I'm dedicating it to the people in healing. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, it's one of the, anyway. <laughs> you only wrote it. It's it, like it, it I wrote it. I, for those at home, I had a little crouton injury and we're working on that. She but was making fresh croutons and she cut part of her finger off about a month and a half ago. But so, so she's, she's getting through it. It's not one of the chords in my current repertoire, but we're gonna get through it. Love y'all. Love you. <laughs> Love you too, sister. Close that door to where you come from. The earth's not flat, but it feels that way. I'm driving off today. So you nod your soul to the passerby. When it moves so quick in the yellow line. Clear on the sunny side, you feel you have to try. Cause once it was and always was and never is again. There is no fear, no pain. Forever as it always is and never is again. There is no fear. Things we think in the thoughtful way mm, They all get done and they go away But the love you share in a given day It never goes away 
Cause once it was and always was and never is again There is no fear, no pain Forever as it always is and never is again There is no fear, no pain I say, cause once is how it always is and never is again There is no fear no pain oh, forever as it always is and never is again there is no fear into eating everybody come on y'all come on we're gonna be turned around in another two weeks Rose and and uh, Rose and 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 Lee. Do they make it? And and they're here. Rose, could we sing one of them with a, um, one of your another one of your? We sorry. absolutely can. How do we make this safe for Lee? Okay, I'm going to give. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this. And I'm going to. Okay, because we want to protect our our national. We got to protect our people now. We got to protect. For those at home, Lee Lawler's coming out, and so is Rose Karen Lawler. And, and Lee's a national treasure, and so we got to protect her. And my understanding from the background oh, is uh, they've been keeping Jim and Lee away from the grandkids and away from people so that we can enjoy Lee and Jim just a little longer. <laughs> so we, that's, what we, that's what we're trying to do here. All right, here, here, here. You, is, it, is it Lee we're trying to save or Jim? No, they, they well, live together. They live together. You know They're mother and daughter. So now, Mama Lee, you're going to come over here, okay? And then, Rose, you're going to be the blocker. There yeah, we go. We, we hate to take it down that it was a talk house situation, but that might be the way it goes. <laughs> <laughs> We're all doing the best we can, okay? I've been 13 weeks in quarantine with my kids. Just had their first play date yesterday. 13 weeks they did not, my two youngest ones. So the beautiful thing is, while we're still all respecting yeah. each other, we all can, so can still take pride in having done the work. And I, for one, feel so proud of the East End for keeping our numbers so low. And I think that nobody has really acknowledged that. They just kind of say, oh, we've done it. No, congratulations to everybody that bit down on the bullet. Cheers to us cheers. and cheers to New York for doing what needed to get done. We're not over it yet. But I've never been prouder in my life to be a New Yorker, ever. And, and I've had a lot, you know, 9-11 and everything. So, okay, anyway, let me uh, not. I think, I think in a good harmony song, either Route 66 or uh, Dead Yellow, but we need some harmony. Let's do Route 66, because I know Route 66. I just, first of all, you're sitting at home watching, finally, Nancy made network television. Do you know That's how right. good it is to see you people and sing some harmony? I know, I let's love do you. it. I just want to say that, love you. Okay. All right. Hang in there, guys. We're coming back. Do you know your part? You know what? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know this one. I always sing it on the side when they're up here with you. Driving around on our own, seeing the couch in the motorhome. Could you settle down here? Would you have my baby in this town? Tank of gas, standing at the pump zone of the mind it wanders. To what it's like to live inside your head. They say home doesn't change, but the travel changes your child everywhere in this wide review, and it's true. But it changes you. But it changes you. Here we go. From St. Louis, Louis down to Oklahoma, Oklahoma. Albuquerque to Phoenix, Arizona. I drove all night in my mind just to get on on the hill. Camped out in Southern California, over the Rockies and on the Milwaukee. Drove all night in my mind just to get on on the hill. Would it change you? Would it change you? Deep and down, some like a better place. Oh, way 
Just still swing your life stacks up like dishes. Oh, try to head out on that road. Cause they say home doesn't change, but the travel changes you try. Everywhere in this wide river, you're true. Road, it changes you. From St. Louis out of Oklahoma, Albuquerque to Phoenix, Arizona. I drove all night in my mind just to get on home to you. Camped out in Southern California, over the Rockies and on to Milwaukee. I drove all night in my mind just to get on home to you. Well, you want to go, wow. Well, healing thing we got is that kind of harmony. It is. It's the best. We go. From St. Louis to Oklahoma, Albuquerque to Phoenix, Arizona, drove all night in my mind just to get on home to you. Camped out in Southern California, over the Rockies and on to Milwaukee, drove all night in my mind just to get on home to you. From St. Louis to Oklahoma, Albuquerque to Phoenix, Arizona, drove all night in my mind just to get on home to you. Camped out in Southern California, over the Rockies and on to Milwaukee, drove all night in my mind just to get on home to you. Road, it changes you. Oh, road, it changes you. You. Here we go. Lord, it changes you. All right, we're going to take a short break. Thank you, Indy Eaton. We're going to come back and do a little Mama Lee and Rose. Indy, we'll see you soon, and we'll have the full band back. Stick around and check out stephentalkhouse.com and youtube.com, Stephen Talkhouse, for every Thursday night, if not more. We'll be right back with the full band. Amagansett's part of the town of East Hampton. We're obviously supported by people from all over Long Island and from New York City. Um, but we've made an effort to be very much part of this tiny little hamlet. And we're honored to be part of Amagansett. The other thing that the Talk House gives us is uh, the ability to help the community out. So if somebody wants to do a benefit here, whether it's for a local nonprofit or a local individual in need, we always provide the place, not only free of charge, but we pick up the costs uh, uh, affiliated with the benefit, whether it's being paying a doorman or paying a sound man or two or cleaning it up. And we always make a contribution to the charity because we're making money by the bar being crowded. So we make a point of going back to, and, and giving back that to the community. Um, the charity that's had the most significance that really got kick-started out of this bar was the Wounded Warrior Project. And back in 2003, we had done a couple concerts to help soldiers who were injured locally. And a guy who worked here at the time as a bartender is, uh, and a good friend of yours and mine, Chris Carney, he came up with the crackpot idea that he could bike across America to raise money and awareness for soldiers who were in injured in Iraq and Afghanistan, or really anywhere while they were serving. But Chris biked 4,200 miles across America and raised millions of dollars for the Wounded Warrior Project and got him started. We do a ride here every year in Amagansett to Sag Harbor and back. And it's changed the lives of thousands, 100,000 wounded soldiers. There have been so many soldiers who've come up and said how Soldier Ride changed their lives. And many have said if it wasn't for Soldier Ride, they would have committed suicide. So that's the one we're most proud of.
are people sticking around? Or are we down to three people? Yeah. Ellen? All right, everybody's still there? Yeah, you know. All right, good. I'll, I'll find a place. Lena, Lena, you know. Okay. Can I have that tambourine? Can you know a white old white girl named Madhu? So when we do call me, call me, call me. So this is bridge one. You just call on your brother, right? Okay. And then this is bridge two. You're going to say, call me. All right, we're ready. Okay, don't worry. And we are back to the Stephen Talk House, socially distanced. I have to say the hardest part of this for me has been not rubbing up against Johnny Blood when, I, when he plays solos and going on the floor. Johnny, it has been very hard. Get away from me, you psycho. Um, anyway, <laughs> you master. The look is very good for him, though. We might keep this even after the vaccine. We might keep Johnny in this with him. I prefer the bandana, personally. Joe D'Elia, you could rob something tonight and no one would know. They would think they were robbed by a Muppet. I'm just telling you, it's just, I can't, I just, I can't see anything. But could we show everybody, because it's just hair and a mask, okay? Could we show them your boots? Can we just talk about this? And I would say, and just in fairness to PJ D'Elia, a very sexy rock and roll Muppet. Look at this, everybody, yes. The quarantine will not stop Joe D'Elia's fashion, damn it. Those are so smoking hot. All right, so um, so much going on right now, right? We needed to come together and we needed to just make some music. I'm wearing a shirt that I just put on. I was so moved, all hands on deck. Um, that means, you know, everybody get involved right now and silence is not accepted right now, I don't think, across the board. So let's do a little lean on me to bring yeah. some love. Yeah, yeah. Love. Mm -hmm. Love. And I'm gonna put my mask on. Yeah. I can't sing with my mask, so. Just 
have lost ones in the health crisis going down. Some of us have lost ones in that political oppression going down. Golly, what they say, over 400 years of this stuff and now it's coming to the front. Everybody needs somebody, you know what I mean? You can't do it by yourself. You need to lean on somebody. When you think you're going crazy, when you think you're going crazy, you need to call somebody. You call on your Lord, you say, Lord, help me. And when you can't, call me. Call me. I'll be there. Thank you so much for coming down and sharing your love. Inda, love you too, my friend. We're going to do a little Uncle Susie now. Come on, boys. You can tap right in. I know I usually start. Johnny, you're going to have to start it out. How's everybody doing at home? Get you in, do the back door. You got a big old melon on barbecue. And I'm singing it above all oh, down on the bay. I said, hey, Uncle Susie, uh, what plays on TV? Hey, Uncle Susie, take me down to the bay. 
Yeah. I will never call you a Muppet again. Ever. You just ate that shit up, brother. Come on. Woo. We got Brady King on bass tonight. Yeah. Brett King. And Richard Roche on drums. Woo. Appl applause, Mass. Applause. Yes, Johnny Blood. Yes. So this is a work in progress. We're going to have an applause sign uh, in another week or two. Uh, you, you'll see. You just watch. And a big red button and a cane to just take me off when I don't stop talking. Um, all right, so next up to bat, boys. Oh, OK. Yes, let's do it. King City. Whoa. This is going out to Brett King. And it's also going out to his brother David, who we lost and that we love very much. And uh, he's been in our prayers. Um, anyway, just want to say that, King. Love you, my friend. It's on a 10 pin highway. It's the last town past the barricades. It's blacker than a blown grenade, but you always get it on. And roll. Oh my God, I think I just lost half a pound. Woo! Yes. Oh God. Yes, it is what you think. It is just like getting laid. It is fabulous. 
Rock and roll. Sorry, am I going too far? I don't care. No, it's good for me. <sighs> yes! <laughs> I want more of that. Don't make it stop, Red Facebook. <laughs> you dirty girl, you. No, no, we have to do the talk house song. We have to. Or yo, we could do that one. That one's going out to Corey and Sandy. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. You're a fine babe. Oh, but I know just who I am. And I don't need a ring upon my head. And I keep telling, I keep telling all of my friends. But I hope you understand.
I forgot to mention a very important part of tonight, which is the Express News Group, who has been our media sponsor, who they've come on. They have uh, really taken us under their wing as a band, even though we have no shows, and I couldn't thank them enough. Thank you to Gavin and, and Catherine so much, because they are supporting arts when there's no arts, which is like part of being an artist. I can't quite explain it. It's keeping your eye on the ball when there's no, no ball. Well, there's really no ball right now. And I think what they're doing is phenomenal. The Express News Group is Sag Harbor Express. Uh, you know, East Hampton, they, they're an incredibly large. Southampton, and, and they, I couldn't just say thank you. Thank you, thank you for supporting the arts at their lowest time. It's so incredible. And to anybody that has tipped um, tonight, we appreciate it. We really, really do. We have done so many fundraisers, and now it's time for musicians. They're still doing, we're doing this thing, Feed the Need, this weekend. But honestly, people, as people are playing live, even if it's 5 or $10, it makes a difference right now. It is all we've ever known and all we can give, and so we appreciate it. And if not, and you have nothing, I hope we have changed and made a really beautiful night for you and given you a little positive energy. We had a special request. Um, this one is going out to Lisa, and <clears throat> it's White Rabbit which we do a cover of, and so I thought we would do it for her since we've been playing it. We play it quite a bit. So uh, this is going out to Lisa, and also, hold on, again to Steven Nussdorf. Thinking of you, my friend. So it needs it for, can we make it a little smoky?
Feed your heart. And love will always win. Unless you let it. You have to let it. You have to let love win. All right, we have one more, and then we're going to call it a night, everybody. Thank you so much. We are the Nancy Atlas Project. Neil Surreal, if you're watching, uh, we love and miss you so much. We know you're taking care of business down in Florida, and we hope that you're going to come back up here soon. Um, Joe D'Elia, thank you so much. You're just a monster musician and did such an amazing job. Once again, Brett King on bass, Richard Rosh on drums, Johnny Blood on lead guitar. He's also been mixing all of the videos that you see of our band, an incredible producer in his own right. A big giant shout out to Kevin and Mike Maz Arako, uh, the head uh, sound engineers at the Talk House, and Matt Hindra and his posse. You got to come up with a name, the quarantine posse, you know? about uh, people sometimes get a little upset about they say shotgun Jesus what it's about the feeling when I was young growing up in Comac uh, you call shotgun you know it amazes me that some people don't know about this this is unbelievable shotgun is the front seat and so yeah I got shotgun you got the front seat so uh, I have a 1969 Cadillac convertible El Dorado that people will say is a beautiful car and I always say to them when it runs it's a beautiful car but it's not really a beautiful car when it doesn't run anyway uh, when I drive that Cadillac Hope you it's kind of like driving a couch and I feel like I have a shotgun Jesus riding by my side so that's what this song is about not about our Lord carrying a rifle okay just to be clear it's not about that <laughs> <laughs> All right, boys, let's do it. Richard Roche going to count us in. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for watching. Check us out, Nancy Allison. We Stephen Talk, YouTube.com slash Stephen Talkus, and also YouTube.com slash Natlas27 for the Friday Night Hustle.
Peace and love from the Nancy Atlas Project. Be safe and be love. We'll see you soon. Hope you enjoyed the show tonight. Thank you, Nancy Atlas Project, for putting on a great show once again for us. We hope to see you all here soon in person. In the meantime, if you want to check out our website, you can learn more about our GoFundMe employee support page and learn more about upcoming shows, hopefully in the near future.